Thank you to the folks at OGO Power Sports bringing you our first guest of the night. He's a friend of the show. Philip, how are you? Oh, hey, Stephen. Uh, I'm doing okay now that I'm back in North Carolina and out of California. So, <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, Fair enough. <laughs> in, enjoying my Monday. Yeah, I bet. Uh, what well, what OGO product do you like the most? The backpack? The, 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 the uh, GA? I've actually had I've had it's I've had the same backpack for about four years now, mm. and it hasn't let me down. So okay. same OGO. But I don't even know which one it is. It's it's the higher end one, so uh, better quality lasts longer. You know, nothing says high end like Phil Nicoletti. <laughs> Uh, so he's been through some abuse. We were making jokes because JT, you remember when Wyndham hung it up after practice? At yeah, Anaheim, Anaheim. Yep. Just decided that was it. <laughs> Big rhythm section. Didn't yeah. want to do it. Yeah, didn't want to do it. Sign. And literally, I went to the truck, and Jeff Myshack's like, "Hey, man, seriously, I keep this on the download." But Kevin's done. And I'm like, "He got hurt." He's like, "No, like he's done. He's done." And I'm like, "Wow, okay." So that you know, we found out later on. Well, Phil, after practice, I mean, you're 21st. It's not yeah. great. Um, you know, were you thinking about pulling a Wyndham? Uh, is that, that, I knew you came over for the, to the semi for two reasons, to find out if I quit and retired and to get food. So <laughs> um, that, was, that, that was it. Yeah. But we were, pretty, we were pretty damn close to being <laughs> saying, fuck this, I'm out. <laughs> it, it, you know what, though? So, like it lo- it, I, uh, Brayton was up in the press box, and he's like, we asked him about missing racing. He's like, I don't miss this. This looks like not fun. The track, yeah. like, you yeah. know, it, 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 it wasn't like if it was just tacky all the way through, you know, up the faces, the whole nine, it would have been okay. But the problem was, is the transitions were soft. And then the, uh, were in between hard. the transition right. to the face was just a curb, you know? Yeah. So I, I'm out on that, you know? <laughs> and, and, and in practice, it was like ungodly terrifying and i was just like i'm not willing to risk it for uh a second and a half faster lap time like these other kids were doing mm-hmm. and i'm like dude i'm not ending my season right now in a 10 minute qualifying session i'm like fuck that you know i'll wait till the heat races when everything kind of gets cleaned up yeah and, you know it's just a different type of track so it's kind of what we did and the heat race was the most laps i had put together all day oh for uh, sure so yeah. i yeah. kind of had to like you know feel it out and then the main event kind of came around and had a decent jump and found a decent hole in the first corner and then just kind of ran with it and did did the rhythms that i could do for 15 plus one without feeling like i was going to get <laughs> carted off on a stretcher you know so yeah. that's where i was at the only thing i wonder about phil is when we were looking at the start like the split start that far right was pretty bad, and you, yeah. you were out there, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's mm-hmm. why I would be worried if I'm you or if I'm JT or a racer. I'd be like, I've got to get in that top ten to get this gate, like because yeah, you know. So, yeah. but you guess you really you you said screw it either either anyway. Yeah, I didn't. I, I actually I didn't have a choice because I thought I got sixth in my qualifier, but somehow I ended up I got ended up getting seventh. Um, so I was on the outside, but I just wanted to make sure. I got a decent jump, so when I got to the end of the whoops on the split start, I had a bit of a gap to where I could kind of see out of my peripheral to kind of move around a little bit. Okay. Um, so that's kind of what saved me. Um, and then I, yeah, found a little hole, and I kind of came out uh, fourth or something. Yeah. Um, and kind of worked out okay. I feel like if I was doing the rhythms every lap consistently, I should have been maybe with Enzo six, you know, around in there, but I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't pull a hat trick and get him for every were, single lap. So were you doing, like, were you doing the three before the four uh, after the, after uh, the bridge? No, no, uh-uh. so, I was not. I was just going on off two on yeah, off. Yeah. Single. So that, that's where yeah. you, a lot of guys were doing the three. Not many were pulling the trigger on the four. But, no, no, yeah. but a lot were doing the three, but I'm just like, I hadn't done it much all day, and I knew exactly what I could do. I was, God, JT was, did his whole life, just whatever he could do for 20 <laughs> laps. And that's, that, that's what the fuck he no, did, you know? Yeah, so, yeah. That's, yep. that's kind of what I did, and Kitchen got by me, and he was doing those sections, and he was pulling a real little bit, but then around halfway, something happened to him where he was still doing the rhythms, but he wasn't pulling on me. And Styles was behind me, and he was busting the rhythms, but he wasn't really pulling on me. So I was just like, I'm okay if I can push through these transitions somewhat quick enough. Uh, I'll be okay. I just got to get out of this race and out of this stadium, <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and I'll be okay. I got to get out of this stadium, I, out of this yeah. state. I it's like what, yeah, what, it, what a jet tell weed. She just wanted to see Sunday. 
Yeah. That's yeah. Right. If, no, as long as he saw Sunday, we're good. <laughs> yeah. And, and I hardly put in a fast lap on Saturday during day qualifying. And I was just like, dude, I, I don't want to see God right now. And <laughs> because if I did, I would have seen him and it would have been the end of it. Uh, I just didn't have it. And my free practice didn't go very good. I had a little bit of a bike issue that kind of just, I don't know, the, the flow, the good mojo just wasn't there to begin with. So I just well, had to wait for gate drop. So I've seen God way too many times that day. <laughs> so the, the, for the heat, was the track like 50% better, 30% better? Like, yeah, what, yeah. It, was, it was, I mean, there was only 20 guys out there right before us. There's a brand new track. So it was almost 50% better. Okay. All right. Um, um, JT, so people, don't, was, people don't think about it. Sorry, Phil. People don't think about it too. Like, okay, so Phil's not comfy doing that triple. You can do it, Phil. We know you can because, like, the quad. No, yeah. that's that's out of your that's out of your expertise. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah. the three you can do. But JT, Phil goes for the quad one time in the main, clips it, doesn't go down. But you know, two seconds yeah. go by. Yep. And like, that's two seconds that's going to take you ten laps to make up. Like, exactly. They're, they're, people don't exactly. understand that. It's such I, a finite, like finite, finite. Finite? Yeah. Finite. 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 <laughs> Such a finite <laughs> edge of trying to, like, get your best time. Like, going for something that you're not sure in the middle of a race that you can do. Yeah. Practice. Who cares? But, yeah, yeah. don't do it. I usually yeah. had a game plan for the main event, and that's what it was going to be. Like, I, I wasn't going to break out of that yeah. plan. Um, like, you knew what you were jumping on the line. Yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. Like, yeah. You, like, you're just trying to execute the plan. Right. Like, I know, yeah. you know, you watch old races and guys like Chad Reed and those guys and, and Marv was very good. They would innovate during the race. Yeah. I wasn't doing that. No. Right. I was just like, <laughs> I'm just going to do this over and over and over and, and over and we'll and, see where we end up. And, and, yes, and, and exactly. I'll see you're gone because you're doing that. Yeah, yeah. But I'll catch maybe you. Maybe I'll at, see you later. Yeah, maybe later. When you're tired or you yep. screw or up. Or you're laying on the ground. Right. Yeah. I'll yeah. see you later. And I'm JT, I'm with you. I mean, people were telling me till I was blue in the fucking face on Saturday, do this, do this, do that. And I'm like, all right, well, you're not riding the fucking motorcycle. I am, so I'm going to do what I can do for 15 plus one and put my laps in and then be done with it. You know what, you you know know? what race is very uh, notorious for that is if you ever walk the track with somebody who's it's their first time going to Daytona, they're mm-hmm. like, we're going to go three, and then three, <laughs> and then four. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're going to double all the way through this thing. Yeah. 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 You're not going to do any of those The ruts are three feet deep. Yep. And you're not going to do a it, damn thing. Right. Right. 100%. And that, I love doing track walk. Like this past week in Anaheim, everyone's just like, oh, yeah, no problem. Three, three, quad. And they're like, oh, you know, across the start, like, oh, yeah, you might be able to trip or double across the start straight and then three on to the tabletop <laughs> off single. And I'm like – Looking at these people fucking cross-eyed. I'm well, like, do you not see what's laying right here? I mean, that's not even close to an option. JT and know? I did think, though, across the star straight, you go 3-4, uh, a 4-50. I I thought if it was dry, you yeah. could go single three four. Yeah, similar to like oh, the other rhythm. If yeah. It was dry. yeah, oh yeah. yeah. If it if it was dry, a hundred percent. Okay, a hundred percent. But the fact that those transitions turned into curbs, yeah. there was no way. Right, and know? it was like that section was probably got the least sunlight of anywhere else on the racetrack. Just the way the yep. sun goes over the stadium, so it was so yep. soft all day. Exactly. It's just like yeah, you sit over there in industry seating, it's freezing balls all day because yeah, no sun is there ever. Oh. You know. But yeah, it was it was it was squirrely. So I wasn't. I was happy with the eighth and be done with it. Yeah. So I was going to ask you that. Out of dodge. We. I asked you before the race. You said you'd be happy with an eighth. I'm like, I agree. That's a good spot. But you were higher. You know, your brother-in-law passed you. Yeah. But even yeah. with all of that, you're good. Like you're happy. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm okay. Like, yeah. In the grand scheme of things, yeah, you look at the day, Enzo qualified P1, then seventh in the second one, I qualified 21st, and at the end of the night, <laughs> he's only three points ahead of me, right, you know, or right. four points or whatever. Like, I don't give a shit. Main events, all, to me, all that matters, you know? So right, right. that's kind of it's kind of where I'm at. I mean, Kitchen qualified, I don't know, six or seven. I, I don't even know, but I wasn't even any, anywhere close to them, but – like you said, when the gate right. drops, bullshit stops. That's when. That's where the money's at. So. Uh, no, you're right. Uh, Phil Nicoletti on the Pulp and Mech Show brought to you by OGO Power Sports. You, I said, what if Enzo beats you in the middle of the day? And you said, he should. He's flying. And I'm like, okay, yeah. well, whatever. And then the dude's P1 in the second uh, <laughs> set practice. Like, yep. what? Yep. P1. Uh, <laughs> well, he, I mean, the last time he left Supercross at Salt Lake, he was P1. And then he started the first round at 
P1. So uh, it's kind of people always forget about last year and stuff. But, I mean, Enzo's got the talent to do it. He just needs to do it uh, when the gate drops. I mean, the heat race was a little bit of kind of a glimpse of what he can kind of do, but he still didn't ride close to what he should be able to do, um, like as far as his flow. Uh, Because Enzo doesn't make those types of bobbles, but, again, he's never ripped a whole shot and never led like that. So, um, dude, he was good. For, like, so you think yeah. you think this is a regular occurrence? We're we're seeing, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, it it should be as long as he can uh, keep his nose to the grindstone and stay mentally tough okay. with it. He he sh- he should be good. So, well, you, um, I don't know it, if you help or hurt that. Uh, I help. I help. <laughs> okay, all right. You because know? I tell him he can do it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I can. I can't. You know, he's got the gift to do it. I'm out there just fucking barely getting by. You so, know? my brother had a hot take today. Um, th- did I tell you this, <laughs> no, JT? I don't know, but I love these. <laughs> yeah, dude, hold on. I, I, I meant to pull this up before the show. So, my brother, ah, from the couch, uh, a lot of times he's got thoughts on his mind. And today sent me a text. Uh, we'll get into this right here. He said, oh, my God, Phil needs to be in the 450 class. Seriously. And I go, why? He will get even more return of investment for his sponsors by riding with the big boys. He'll make every main event, get some 9 to 12s, and be the new Chiz. There you go. <laughs> I feel like Phil, Phil did that. Well, <laughs> We've been I down that it. road. Phil got a podium yeah. outdoors. Like, yeah. I don't know, man. Road. It's my brother's hot take. Phil okay. should move on. Hey, yep. hey, that, that, that time, I've done it for six years. It's come and gone, and I'm out. You know? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm okay riding a little bike indoors and uh, 450 outdoors. Huh? I, I enjoy that program. Motorsport.com you know. is uh, Uncle is uh, Uncle Scott happy with this ride? Do we know? Uh, is he good? Okay. I would think he'd be okay, but All I right. think like any other sponsor, if they would have saw me on Saturday, they or during the day practice, yeah. they probably thought the same as you. You know, <laughs> and go home. But <laughs> even uh, Troll Train was like, I thought he was going to retire. At that point, yeah. <laughs> you just ride around and you like point down at your bike. Just point yeah, down. Like, yeah, I don't know. We got issue. We got issue. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I had a. I had a some heart to hearts, uh, yeah, with Alex and Alexia on Saturday, and some of them were not good, but uh, okay. we survived. We got do, through it. You so. do the Larry Ward where you ride by with your kill switch? Yeah. Like wide if open, holding the kill, kill switch? switch. Yeah. 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 No, but I'm going to use that one. <laughs> you know? um, yeah, <laughs> well. I, I should have really done my uh, sticker deal with Enzo for this year. Damn, I really missed out again. But yeah, yeah. I mean, that would have been uh, it's kind of a cheap deal for what you could have got out of it. Or yeah. it's the reason he's yeah not, he's not, performing. He's doing well. Right. Yeah. That could be. Too. <laughs> uh, hey, you want to know what's a good thing about a contract? You can always start tomorrow. Uh, well, and speaking of contracts, so you're a Jet uh, athlete. You're a donut athlete. Yeah, Jetsons Donuts, big, big money. 